so if you look at this window, it's large, expansible. You got you can see through it, and you got all these people walking around. So to limit the exposure to a like a blast or a gunshot, which would shatter out the glass and send it flying towards your customers, you put a simple coating on it, which would keep the glass itself held in. So if an explosion or a gunshot went through it, the glass would be held by the sheet itself. My name is Russ Corno with One Back Zebra. I've been a police officer for over 20 years with a large metropolitan police department. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about our training concept, One Back. Uh, it's an acronym that we came up with to be able to remind people of key points when they're involved in workplace violence to be able to, to make their way through it uh, safely. Let me take a moment to break it down letter by letter. The O is for observe. Employees are trained to identify erratic behavior that could be a precursor for violence. The N is for notify. We will help you devise protocols that will help your employees make decisions and implement your safety plan. The E is for evacuate. Remove yourself and others from the path to violence. Fast action is the best way to save lives. The B is for barricade. If you can't get out, learn what you can do to deny the attacker access. The A is for act. There are always actions that one can take to stop the violence, but what are they? The C is for care, how to save lives. Learn simple techniques to treat serious injuries. The K is for keep. In order to hold criminals accountable, we have to keep the scene intact and be good witnesses. There is a lot you can do before you have to run. Following the first two letters of our acronym, the O for observe and the N for notify, you will have the tools to stop workplace violence from erupting before it starts. When it comes to emergency response, we can't expect everyone to be a hero, but we have found that a little confidence and proactive education goes a long way. When I walked in here, I saw over by the phone, there was a safety card and it talked about duck and cover and earthquake, earthquake uh, protection, but there was nothing in there about a, a, a threat or an active threat or risk of violence in the workplace and that. And do you guys draw your own program or do you work as a conglomerative effort with the entire building? I don't know how that plays out for you guys. Um, but I always like to say, well, what is your guys' plan? 